Hello, in this video, I will explain to you on how to find TO here. And we are asked by the problem to use node voltage method. Okay, so our goal is to find out VO and we need to use the node voltage method. Okay, let's see what can we get from here. The first thing that we need to do is to label all the nodes. Label all the nodes and also we need to find out some information that related to the circuit here. Okay, let's set our bottommost node here as our reference node. So we will have our reference node. And the voltage here will be zero, right? Because this is the reference node or the ground. And then what can we infer from that? This node here is 10 volt from the ground. So I have 10 here. And then this node here is minus 20 I delta from the ground, right? So I'll have minus 20 i delta good and then here we will have po from the ground right because the negative terminal of po is connected to the ground so this one will be po here good and i think that's all that we can do from here and let's see what can we get from next step which is to assume the currents direction the currents direction okay how to do that let's assume that this will goes to the right here and this also goes to the right and this is going down and that is going to the right here Good, but what we need to know is what is I delta here because this depends on that, right? This one is depends on this one. So I'll have this also depends on that one. Okay, so let's do KCL at this node here. Let's do KCL, right? For number three, do KCL. Uh, okay, how to do that? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? Good. And here we have I delta. Okay, I delta as the current that goes in. All the other currents is going out. So that will equal to this current here. I will have 10 and then minus PO divided by 10. Good. And this current here also going out. So I'll have 10 minus minus 20 I delta. So I'll have plus 20 I delta. And it is divided by 30. Good. Now let's multiply both sides here by 30. Okay, so we'll have 30 I delta and then 10 and 30 will cancel into 3. So I'll have 30 minus 3 PO. Okay, and then this 30 and 30 will cancel each other. So we'll have 10 plus 20 I delta. Okay, let's move this 20 I delta to the left hand side. So I'll have 10 I delta. Okay, and 30 plus 10 will be 40. And then we will have minus 3 VO. Okay, and then we can. Okay, I think we just left it here. I think let's left it here. So I'll have 3 VO. Okay, 3 VO plus 10 I delta. And that will equal to 40. Let's set this as equation number. Okay. Now let's do add PO 
Can we need to do KCL but this time at PO? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? And the only current that goes into this node here is 10 minus VO and then divided by 10. Good, and that will equal to this current that goes out. I will have VO minus 0 divided by 40. And then this current here, that will be VO minus minus 20 I delta. So I will have plus, right? Minus and minus become plus. So we have 20 I delta. Okay, divided by the resistance speed window. I will have 20. Okay, we can multiply both sides here by 40, I think. Yeah, 40. 10 and 40 will cancel into 4. So on the left hand side, I will have 40 minus 4 VO. Okay, and then v, 40 and 40 will cancel each other. So I get VO here. VO minus 0 is just VO. And then 20 and 40 will cancel into 2. So I will have plus 2 VO. And then plus 40, right? So I will have 40 I delta. Good. Now what can we do from here? VO plus 2 VO, I will have 3 VO. And then plus 4, I will have 7 VO. Okay, 7 VO. And then plus 40i delta. Okay, and that will equal to 40. And that is equation number 2, right? Okay, so now what can we do? We need to solve the resulting equation. Solve the equations. Okay, maybe let's clean up our slide and solve the equations. Okay, remember that our goal is to find out VO. So, we can eliminate I delta here. Okay, let's multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by 1. So, we will have 3 multiplied by 4. That will be 12 VO. And then plus 40i delta. And that will equal to 160. And then we will have 7PO plus 40i delta. That will equal to 40. And we can subtract this to get to get 40i delta cancel. 12 minus 7, that will be 5PO. Okay, and this will cancel each other, and then we will have 120. We can divide both sides by 5. Okay, so we get 5 and 5 will cancel out. And so we will have PO is equal to 120 divided by 5, and that will be 24. And the unit is in volt, right, because all the components here is in SI unit. This is volt and this is ohm. So this also in SI unit. So that will be 24 volt. And we have achieved our goal, right? Because our goal is to find out what is VO. So VO here is 24 volt. Okay, let's highlight that and end this video here. Okay, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.